Hey, Kaz, are you ready for a magical manifestation technique that Neville Goddard himself swears by? I know it sounds too promising, but trust me, this technique can change your life like it changes mine. So, I want to share a method that's had a huge impact on my life. It's something I picked up from one of my favorite teachers, Neville Goddard. Although I had encountered this idea before, discovering Neville's work really deepened my appreciation for it. This technique was a game-changer for me, especially when it came to healing my body back in the early 2000s. So, believe me, you'll want to pay attention to this. Now, I notice that a lot of people get overwhelmed with manifestation. They're busy reciting affirmations or trying out every method they come across. But then they feel stuck because things aren't happening the way they expect. The key, though, is to feel as if you already have what you desire. But how do we create that feeling? How do we shift our mindset to get there? The first step to mastering your reality is understanding how it's created in the first place. What I admire about Neville is how he simplifies it all. We shape our reality through the power of our imagination. Neville Goddard always emphasized what he called our wonderful human imagination. He believed that through our imagination, anything is possible. But here's the thing most people aren't even aware of this power. The fact that you're watching this video means you have the chance to help spread this message and wake people up to their potential. Imagine how empowering that could be. The problem is that many people are scared to imagine themselves having what they want or doing what they dream of. It's sad because they often think they don't deserve it, or they get caught up in what their senses are telling them like the so-called facts of their situation, rather than the deeper truth of what's possible. There's another story that captures this idea. It's about a woman who was struggling financially. She was deeply in debt and couldn't see a way out. But instead of focusing on her current situation, she decided to apply the law of assumption. She understood that her current reality didn't have to define her future. So every night before going to sleep, she would relax and get into a calm state, right on the edge of sleep. Then in her mind, she imagined what it would feel like to be completely debt-free. She pictured herself opening her mailbox and finding letters confirming that all her debts were paid off. She felt the relief and joy, as if it were happening right then and there. She continued this practice night after night, always falling asleep with a feeling of financial freedom. She didn't let her current circumstances or doubts distract her. And over time, things began to shift in her life. Unexpected opportunities and resources came her way, and gradually, she paid off her debts. What she had consistently imagined eventually became her reality. This story, much like Neville's, shows how powerful our imagination can be when we use it to create the life we desire. By focusing on the feeling of our wish already being fulfilled, we can bring about real tangible changes in our lives, just like the woman who transformed her financial situation, we too can use the law of assumption to shape our reality. The key is persistence and belief in the power of our consciousness to manifest our desires. And guess what? Not long after, this woman received unexpected news. A relative she hadn't heard from in years decided to gift her a significant amount of money, enough to pay off most of her debts. Then, out of the blue, she was offered a higher-paying job that she hadn't even applied for. Just like that, within a few months, she was completely debt-free and living the financial freedom she had imagined. So, what this woman vividly imagined in her mind became her reality. Amazing, right? Now, let's break down this technique for you. The first step is to get clear about what you want. Don't be afraid to desire financial freedom, a dream job, or whatever it is that lights you up. It's okay to dream big and to expect good things to happen in your life. But don't stop there, because as Neville said, just knowing what you want isn't enough. When you're only thinking of your desire, you're still on the outside looking in. Here's where the game changes. Instead of just thinking of your desire, you need to start thinking from it. There's a big difference. 
When you think about it, you're experiencing the feeling of your wish already being fulfilled. Neville called this living in the end. So, as you're drifting off to sleep, when you're in that drowsy state half asleep and half awake, that perfect window right before you knock out, that's when you want to immerse yourself in your desire. The second step is to let yourself truly feel the emotions of already having what you want. By immersing yourself in that feeling every day, you align your consciousness with your desires, making it much more likely for them to manifest in your reality. The more you practice this, the more natural it will feel, and soon enough, you'll start noticing shifts in your life, just like Neville and this woman did. Imagine you're already living it. For example, if you're struggling with your health, picture yourself completely healthy and pain-free in your mind's eye. What would you do? What would you say? How would you act? Then in your imagination, do those things. When I was dealing with severe back problems a few years ago, I didn't just imagine myself walking normally, I saw myself running, with a strong back, carrying heavy things that used to cause me pain. I imagined myself eating all the foods I loved, the ones I couldn't eat because of my condition. And guess what? That mental shift played a huge role in my healing. If you're struggling with money right now, imagine getting that promotion at work. Visualize your colleagues congratulating you and shaking your hand. Picture money being deposited into your bank account, or even better, imagine yourself giving money to your friends and family because you have more than enough to share. Create your mental script, keep it short, and loop it over and over. The key here is consistency. By regularly living in the feeling of your wish fulfilled, you're aligning yourself with that reality, just like the woman who imagined herself debt-free and eventually became so. The more you practice, the more real it becomes, and the more likely it is to manifest in your life. No need to overthink it. When you're doing this, make sure your vision is clear and detailed. Don't just watch it like it's happening to someone else step into it and experience it from your perspective, like you're living it right now. Engage all your senses, see, touch, taste, smell, and hear everything as if it's real. Get so into it that, as Neville would say, it feels completely real to you. Creating the feeling you want is easier than you might think. When you dive deep into your imagination, the feelings will naturally come. You'll start to feel like it's already happening because your brain can't tell the difference between imagination and reality. You might even catch yourself smiling that's a great sign that you're fully immersed. As you drift off to sleep with this feeling, that's when the magic happens. If you do this every night, your subconscious will start to accept this feeling as reality, and the universe will begin to shift things in your life to match. Believe that you deserve to have your desires fulfilled. Stop doubting yourself. I want you to experience the abundance that's waiting for you, that's why I make these videos. Let go of the struggle. Let go of the false belief that you're not enough because you are. Try this out tonight and see for yourself how powerful it is. I'd love to hear about your results, so please share them in the comments. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and hit that subscribe or follow button for more. And be sure to check out my free online training on manifesting the life you want. The link is in the description. More great content is on the way. Until next time, take care.